Okay, this is the new front deck to my Mako. And we are gonna glass it. You guys excited? I know some of you guys like when I do fiberglass. That's the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut out a piece of glass to lay over the top of that. I'm hoping this is about right. We're gonna cut it way too big. Okay, now that we have our sheet, we have our sheet cut. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do a real rough cut. Look over here, look at that. We're gonna lay this on top. We're gonna do a good rough cut on the shape of this thing. Now we're trying to make it so we don't have too much sanding to do, but we're gonna have to do some sanding. There we go. Now that we got the good basic like shape cut out, let's get some resin. Now remember guys, you gotta put on gloves. And something I learned, something I learned from somebody, double up your gloves. If I can get it on, oh. Double up your gloves. So you can just take them off as needed. I thought it was smart. So we're doing two layers. I don't know why. I'm reminding my doctor, Carlos, be gentle. All right, so I went to Harbor Freight. Before we get started, I just wanna tell you guys this. I went to Harbor Freight to get rollers and I was looking for the completely average rollers, but all they had were these monsters. And I told them, I said, what do you expect me to do with that? I'm doing fiberglass. I'm not trying to paint a house. You know what I'm saying? So let me just apologize to you real quick before we get started. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna coat this board really nicely, okay? And this, all this is, is this is your base coat to stick your fiberglass to. Now that we got the first base coat down. Look at that! I don't know who went ahead and did this, but whoever did it, you did a hell of a job. Now we're just gonna, we're gonna paint right over it, stick it on down. I have to make some more resin. Yeah, we're gonna have to make some more resin. All right, the first part is done. All right, we're gonna cut a second piece. That's for the very front. We're gonna do the. We're gonna repeat the same steps all over again.
fiberglass. Time for foam. Are you guys ready? I'm excited. This stuff might not be any good. We're going to find out. I've had it for quite some time. Let's see if this works. All right, so Alfred came to help me because the guy at the store said I needed adult supervision. So go ahead, Alfred. Good enough. Yeah, it should be good. Give it a real good quick store. Do I want to let it rise a little before no. we start pouring? No. That's good, yeah, that's great. That's it? Just wait. That's what you want me to do, right? Yeah, pretty much. It's just all gonna go down to the bottom. So we should start building from the bottom up, you know? Yeah. Let's see how this works. And it'll lock all these it'll lock all these two by fours in place. This fan is pretty quite a bit. No, this is four pound. And that was probably about two gallons worth, so. How much was that? That? Yeah. That big blob? Half gallon. Yeah, that's it. That was a gallon. But that was a different density. That's two pound density. Yeah, this is four. Fine. This stuff is this stuff is stronger. You'll be able to see afterwards. After this sits, you'll be able to touch this one, this first blob, and this is softer than that. This has a little bit of Well, I poured a little too much on that last one and Alfred's over here fixing my mistakes. Thanks, Alfred. Yeah. I don't know what I would do without you, bud. Take some of Elmer's glue. Elmer's glue? Yeah. Before I'm recording, he was over here telling me that I built boats with pop popsicle sticks and bubble gum. Yeah. And high issues, right? Highly issues? Yeah. Yeah, so. And I say, it's mine, so. Thank God he's here. It would be like, this is what it would be like if John SS was here. 
nothing but help and fixing all my mistakes. Thanks, folks.